without the cooling breeze at sundusk, venture not therein, without bird song and lilacs, soothing brooks, hold still your hands till stars align, then boldly venture forth into delight, to prize her, vault him to the feast of God's own bread. Taste manna, sip the cup serenely beyond time. The hand so bold begun is never quick, nor overhungered, but wide alive, awake and morsel fed, entranced. You are the Lewis to her Clark. She, trailless, blazes trails. Fear not the outcome. Think not of prying eyes. The venture carries its own means, bears its own end. Caresses guide themselves, kisses find homes. Love is its own excuse and pleads your cause. For he who at your trial must speak for you is very judge who led you on this path. He'll vouch witness be and captain your defense. Tawana is human. The baby grasps your finger a breast, his teething ring, a toddler screams, claws back, his toy and candy, his rocky horse, the teen punches a thief of his iPhone, his Nikes, his girlfriend, a bride dreams of the ring, her dress, a fairy tale ball, the busy hubby wants a raise, Promotion, a sexy mistress. The retiree wants a cozy pension, a golf cart, a doctor you can reach on Sundays. The dyer wants his morphine, his own home, your hand in his. So is this shit about eradicating desire. No way, man. Pity the bee who stings a Buddhist butt. From desire, yes, scheming, thieving, lust and murder, whatever. You've thwarted frustration, revenge, more murder. Yeah, whatever. But try uprooting it, my friend. Tibetan-like, because even Yahweh, even the Almighty, desired of the children of Israel all sorts and means of things, and thwarted, lashed, connived, revenged, and slaughtered in a fearsome omnipotence. So what's this shit? No sooner can you eat your entrails. Pity the poor bee.